God has given you, you can handle it. Amen. Whatever God has given you, you can handle it. Do me a favor, and I want you to tell two or three people right now before you take your seats, you can handle it. You can That's right. Sometimes the pressure, the burden, the stress, the tension, sometimes it even feels like it's just too heavy to bear. Mm -hmm. But I want to tell you and encourage you today that you can handle it. Amen. I said you can handle it. Amen. Listen, for example, like financial hardship. Is there anybody that'll be honest enough to know that sometimes your ends don't meet? Amen. Sometimes your ends are not even in the same room. Uh -huh. yeah. Your ends are not meeting one of your ends in the bathroom, one of them in the kitchen. And yeah. To pay your bills, so what you do is you tell your bills, y'all got to get in line. Uh -huh. And then when bill collectors start calling you and bothering you, say you better get in line, or I'll put you at the end of the line. Uh -huh. Sometimes it feels like that hardship. Sometimes has anybody here will be honest enough to say you've been sick in your body and you didn't know if God was a healer. You didn't know what happens when work out. Sickness sometimes discourages you. Relationship problems, marital problems, um, just being mistreated by people you trusted or loved. There are times when we go through stuff, we're just being persecuted by enemies. Has anybody here got some enemies or some folks that tell a lot, a lie on you or, or look down on you or wish bad on you and you didn't know why you're here? Sometimes it feels like in situations like that that God, why would you allow me to go through this? Watch this. It did catch God off guard. So even in that own statement, that ought to be good news for somebody. Amen. I said it didn't catch God off guard. Corinthians, God is faithful and will not put on you or let you be tempted more than you can bear. Amen. But with the temptation, he will make a way to escape. Amen. I thought that would be good news for somebody. In other words, what Paul was saying is that if God allowed you to experience that, then guess what? You can handle it. Amen. Watch this. God will not put weight on you that you're not able to lift. So those of you that ever work out or been in a weight room, there are times when you go in a weight room and you're lifting weights. And if the weight is too much, we get what we call spots. That's right. Come on. If you, got, if you get ready to lift too much weight, then you call for a spot. Mm -hmm. And the purpose of that spot is to make sure you don't hurt yourself. Uh, yeah. Come on. Like, come on. Work out. It's like, you know, when you go some of us work out, you, you, you're toning up. But there are times when you want to get us strong and you want to put a little pain. So you say, hey, hey, bro, come over here and spot me. Yeah. I'm getting ready to go put some weight on me that I don't know if I can handle it. And what the purpose of a spot is, is when you get stuck. All right. All right. That's right. Uh -huh. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. Neighbor. If you're in it, if you're in it. 
list designed the outside, the color, the size, shape, even though all those things are important, it's irrelevant and useless if he does not design the infrastructure. Mm, he Jesus. has to design the infrastructure before all that other stuff even makes sense. So what he does is he calculates all the loads, each how much each flow will weigh, how much wind it will be able to face, and watch this, how much equipment will be needed to fulfill the assignment. A good architect has to do all of that. Then based on all those mathematical calculations, he then determined how big the steel beams should be. That all right. Then he determines how big the piers should go or how they should go in the floor and how thick the foundation will be. Now watch this. In California alone, they, when they regularly have earthquakes, they put in reinforcements in the framing to make sure when earthquakes come, the framing of the building could handle it. Mm, come on. In Florida, and those of you that got relatives in Florida, you know this to be true, they put in, um, they install special glasses to withstand the hurricane season. And a good architect specifically designs each structure to withstand pressure. All right. Do me a favor and say I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere. Listen, this will be a good place, I think, to put this. The good news is your architect is the most high God. Jesus. Yes. 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 Your architect yes. is the most high God. The same God that designed solar systems. The same God that designed the heaven. The same God that designed the earth has also designed you. And watch this. When he designed the blueprint of your life, he calculated every storm you would face. Yeah. Well, I thought somebody was shouting. Come on. Come on. He knew how many storms you would face. He knew how much pressure you would face. How many times you would get betrayed. He knew how many times Jesus. people would lie on you. Every mistake you would make. He knew how much weight and wind you would go through. He knew how many folk would look down. Thank you. 
the glory. Yes. So right. most of the time, you can't handle it. But all you got to do is trust God. God, I know I don't have enough to do this. But I thank you that you made a way that I can get this new house, y'all. Yes. So what must I do? What must I do? Preacher, I'm glad you asked the question. The first thing you got to do, Pastor, and you know this to be true, you got to learn to encourage yourself. Amen. There are times when, when people around you don't have good things to say. All right. So you got to learn to encourage yourself. That's this. And when David was in the cave, the Bible says 400 men came to the cave and they were depressed, they were oppressed, and they weighed down on David, and then they start blaming David for their, their loss. Yes. The Bible said David had to encourage himself. Yes. They had to look in the mirror and say, I shake myself. Ah. And I don't know what I'm facing, but I know that my God is
Bible says in Galatians 6 and 9, it says, Let us not become weary uh -huh. in well-doing. Right. For in due season, we will reap if we don't fail. Amen. Give me a favor. I want you to encourage your neighbor to say, Neighbor. Neighbor. It's almost over. It's almost over. You're almost there. You're almost there. Sometimes you got to go back to your high school days 
Jesus. Jesus.
death sentence over you. Now let me give you some good news. God is going to give you more years to live on this earth. Jesus. It's coming a day when you as you praise God, you ought to praise God right now. Yeah. And your blood, your, your blood sugar, everything is going to uh, operate normal. Yeah. If I was you right now, thank God for healing right yeah. now.
see you with a doctor's Jesus uh, degree. My Lord. I see you with a doctor's degree on your name. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. All right. Father, you choose so mightily for your generation because your heart is right. Amen. Amen. And your testimony will be that if he did it for me. Yeah. Come on. Surely he can do Come it for on. you. Yeah. Your children will also prosper. Oh, my God. Jesus. My Lord. Anybody here? No, you need to go back to school. Let me see your hand. Glory be to God. Who else? Glory well, be to God. I want to say that's in the morning, but not you. Which one of y'all uh, from the nursery child? From the child of the school? Who's there? Sarah? Yeah, it's been good. Teacher? Yes. Okay, okay. All right, that's what I'm going to do. Did you start? Did you stop? I did. How many got out? How long did you got out?
next year. God's going to visit you with his goodness. Amen. 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 That's 
broken off of you. Yes. Anything that's fighting your finances, your marriage, your relationship, today we put a stop to it. Amen. I need somebody to Hallelujah, Lord God. God. I need somebody to believe God in heaven.
some unsettling to happen yes, in our yes, lives. Yes, 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 yes. Is there anybody in here yes. that needs some unsettling? Yes. Yes. I said, does anybody here need some unsettling? Yes. Does anybody need God to turn some stuff around? Yes. Yes.
pray uh, five talents to come make it. Bonus will be a blessing for you. I saw you in a shop. That's why I should get you here. I don't know if you have a, you have a friend that does hair or something. No. If you're not, then anybody does hair. Not yet. Jesus. Jesus. Where are you from? You from Augusta. You shout to me inside, right? You shout to me inside. I just told her she's going to make more money on her side hustle. Come on. And her real job. Come on. Come on. 